The very first safe haven baby box is coming to Southwest Ohio. Delhi Township trustees approved it just hours ago, and they really hope it will help save newborn lives. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle is explaining how this box can lead to a safer outcome. Delhi Township fire officials say the baby box will cost $10,000. Much of that is going to be covered by a grant, but they do say you can't put a price tag on the well-being of a newborn. Delhi Township Fire Chief Doug Campbell says right now the lone option in Southwest Ohio for new parents unable to care for a newborn would be to bring it to a safe haven, a police station, firehouse or hospital. It's already a tough enough decision to decide that you can't take for or take care of your infant. Um, this opportunity allows for the safety that's involved with dropping a child off. He says the safe haven baby box allows for anonymity. The only baby box in the region now is at Lawrenceburg's fire department. Think of the baby box like an incubator you'd find at a hospital. Safely house a child free from temperature swings and, and danger. In Wednesday's meeting, this is a way that we can help save some of those children, give them the human dignity that each child deserves to have. The Board of Trustees unanimously voted to approve. My hope is that we never have to use it. But if we do, God bless it, it's there for the people who need it. Chairman of the board, Trustee Rose Sturtz, is hopeful this could be the first of many in Southwest Ohio. It's not like putting them like you hear sometimes people say they drop them off in a cardboard box at the police station or the fire station. This is a safe haven. I love the name of it for those children and for those parents. Chief Campbell hopes to have the box installed by March of next year, and he says if it's ever used, an alarm will notify the department immediately so they can safely monitor and take care of the infant. It's definitely something that we're looking to bring into our community that would be accessible regionally for folks that just had no other means. In Delhi Township, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.